Well, yippee ki yay, motherfuckers. It's game day. Jules the Schemer here. Just getting out from uh, my game day event. I would love to tell you that I won the map, but what can I say? Third place. Yeah, spoiler alert, third place. But let me tell you something, because uh, this video has some, some, uh, some information, I guess. It's been a long day. I mean, I started off my day with... Uh, Going to my kid's football game. He was in the championship, and they didn't do so well. Um, they were really playing the refs more than the other team, but the other team did you know, kind of dominate them a little bit. So, I mean, it was a loss. No excuses. They did what they did. Now, there's a reason why I'm wearing the cowboy hat, which brings me to my next point. So I go to my LGS, uh, the Eclectic Cave on Central near I-25. If, if you live in Albuquerque and you're looking for a place to go, this is the spot. Let me tell you, man. They take care of their people. There's a reason why I'm wearing my cowboy hat today. Yeehaw! Okay, so here's the deal. Look, and the, we don't know. They don't know. Whoever don't know what happened, but they didn't get the mat. They didn't get the cards. They didn't get the stuff that they were supposed to get for game day. So they did right by us. They gave us options. They increased price support. Your boy... Jules the Schema. Four, count them, four of these nice little standard showdown packs. I love these things, man. This is what brought me back to magic right here. Prizes like this make it worth it. Yes, I love winning booster packs. Yes, I love playing magic. But, man, when you can go to F&M or standard showdown or whatever it is you're doing and you're able to get packs like these... These just, I mean, these are like better than regular lottery tickets. You know what I mean? Because you can get some nasty, nasty rares in here. Foils, like the whole nine. So I'm going to open these for you guys right now. But I just want to send a shout out to The Eclectic Cave. Man, you guys are awesome. I love going back. You guys, you got my business for life probably for real. You'd have to really mess up pretty hard to lose me. And I don't see you doing that at all. So here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. And... <clears throat> uh, alternate art prairie stream I'm trying to build something with Davin Bain or whatever his name is the planeswalker and this this will help I got a, I got three of the regular ones so this will look nice it'll look cute it'll look so cute oh so we're gonna open this first pack for you right now let's see here so for those of you who don't know what comes in here you get three random cards I think they're all rares, except for the back ones. Of, uh, and they can be two cards of any rare in the set. And then a foil or of any rare period in standard. And then it's two foils. and uh, Or two rares. And then a foil, random foil from whatever card. And you can get inventions in here. You can get invocations in here. You can get some nice stuff in here. So let's see what we get today. We start off with Scatter the Winds. That's one of my rares. We get Eternal Scourge. I don't know if any of these are worth any money. And we get a full art. And drum roll. Ah, Brazen Wolves. So this was a dud, as you can see. I think, unless this is worth some money, I doubt it. Um, Counterspell with Awaken. Eh, eh, probably not worth any money. This is what this is. You know, we're value hunting. We are going out there and trying to get us a bounty. Yeehaw! Let's see what kind of bounty we can pull. We start off with Deploy the Gate Watch. It's a mythic, so I'll take a mythic. This basically says look at the top seven cards of your library. Put up to two Planeswalker cards from them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. It costs six. Eh, in a super friend style deck, yeah. Otherwise, who cares? Okay, deploy, but it's a mythic, so I'll take it. Dust Stalker. Probably not worth much. Just a rare. A planes. A planes. I love full art. I can't lie. And then we get. Nah. Fiend Binder. A common. Ooh. It's okay. We got two more packs to go. Two more little bounties to wrestle. 
Let's see here. Eh, hope or the Girapur ovaries, uh, orreries, <laughs> ovaries. And then we get so solemn recruit didn't get the clout I hoped it got when I saw it. It looks nice. It costs two white and one. It's a two two with double strike, so it's a four when it's attacking. I mean that's nice. Um, revolt. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield, this gets a 1-1 one, one counter. That's sweet. I have a lot of these, though. But that's sweet. Foil arts, or, uh, full Art Swamp. Very nice. Really? Glint Nest Crane? A Foil Glint Nest? We got one more pack. Come on. Come on. And it ain't your fault, the Eclectic Cave, but look what I'm dealing with. This is your product. <laughs> but it ain't your fault. You guys are awesome. Like, for real, you really came through for us today. I'm extremely happy with the way things ended. And I came in third place, and look what I'm able to do for you guys. I'm able to look at a brain in a jar. Mm. Now, this looks cool. I wanted to do something with it. You tap the artifact plus one mana of any color. <clears throat> Put a charge counter on brain in a jar. Then you may cast an instant or sorcery card with a converted mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on brain in the jar from your hand without paying its mana cost. Or you can re, uh, pay three, tap, remove X charge counters from brain in the jar, and scry X. So you can get it to where you need it to be, right? Free counter, or free, almost free counter spells and stuff like that. So that's cool. Brain in the jar is nice. Cost two. Decent little toy. Uh, Desolation Twin. Now I'm looking to get some Aldrazi for my Frontier deck. If you guys don't play Frontier, I'm sorry. It's fun. Uh, when you cast Desolation Twin, put a 10-10 colorless Aldrazi token onto the battlefield. So you get 20 power with this. That's nice. Uh, full Art Planes. Also very nice. I love Almond Cat. And my last foil... Aldrazi Sp Sky Spawner. Foil Common. Sad day. Well, folks, that was the standard showdown packs from game day. I took third place. So the results were like this. I lost my first match, and that's why I took third place instead of second, or maybe even first. I could have played the undefeated. Somebody went undefeated. I could have played them. And it would have been nice. So, uh, yeah. Um, I lost my first match. Ran through second, third, and fourth matches. It was four rounds. It was nice. Um, I, and I lost because I milled down to five in the first one. And then in the second one, I had two land. I had three two drops. I had two land, three two drops. It seemed nice, right? I can go three turns. Hopefully in three turns draw. I was on the draw. And uh, I, I ran out of steam quick, and he just rolled over me. So those are the results. Um, I hope you guys had a good day, a game day. Uh, for those of you who got the, the promo cards and all that stuff, I, I hope you enjoy it. We're supposed to be getting ours later on when he gets his, so that'll be nice. Uh, anyway, in the meantime, this is Jules the Schemer. Keep on scheming. <laughs>